Hey everyone, I am O'Curry and welcome back to Corpse Party. Last time we started the game. Today we're gonna get to anyone and probably get some teenagers killed. So I have a theory already that we are not going to end this chapter without Seiko dying. I have a th I have a theory. I have a theory that she will die or the end of this chapter, and I don't think I'll have control over it. Okay, so we're trying to figure out a way out. I think we need to go... No, we need to go this way. Because... Oh. Oh, we had a key for that. Right. Oof. Hmm? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like... My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty. Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure. Just waiting to be claimed. You can't hear it calling to you? Let's look around first before we enter that. I... That, what was that? Weird. Uh, that room gives me some bad vibes, you know? Whoa. Okay, never mind. Let's go hang out in the. What's going on? That's super weird. Like a fly sound effect? Okay, here we go. Oh god. Uh, okay, I'm gonna look at this. Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the re recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on sem September 18th, 1973 at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them alive but nearly catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses had its tongue severed and removed mutilations far too grotesque to describe i think this is what i don't know weird the page is torn at this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found how awful i think i heard about this though once before not me i guess it did happen long before we were born so I shouldn't be too surprised. Uh oh. That's fun. There's an unlit candle here. I didn't read that. Because I'm smart. Um. Okay. Ugh. Another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> kind of too late. Oh, you will never leave this room. That's great. No, that's fine. I'll never leave this room. 
<laughs> Am I stuck in here for real? Oh, there's no way out. Ooh, what do we do? This is your fault, you know. What? How? Just... Never mind. Uh... Huh. Oh man, that scared the crap out of me. Hold up. Oh no. No, it's gone! What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Ayumi. Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap. I put mine in my pocket. It just... It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I keep telling you. You need to put things away before they get lost. I'm sad. I think we have to get it. I have a... That thing's gonna get... Like, not having that is gonna get her killed, I think. Skeleton remains lie sprawled out on the floor. This inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Misato Municipal Brotherhood Senior High School Class 36 Chinaichi. Okay, I... Uh, I don't like... I really get a bad feeling about not having that paper doll scrap. It sounds dumb, but... Okay, here... Ugh, God. It's horrifying. It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. And just splattered everywhere. Ugh, it smells so meaty. Sorry, are you okay, Naomi? I'm... I'm fine. Let's just get away from here. Okay. Lovely. Just fun. Fun. Oh, this feels like death. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. A loose board is a nice thing to have. Okay. Oh, another body. There are several crumbled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at, at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Guito. I'm in class A. Everybody's fine. Yuzuha, come, come join us, Asuka. Okay. The mostly bleached skeleton remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID named tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class I-6, Yuzuha Mikami. She did. Okay, so she fell from the second floor. So let's try to keep that in mind. Oh, spirit. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who've died here. Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on the scraps of paper that litter these these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. Yay.
Hi. A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. You don't believe with all your heart? Then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. The skeleton remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1-2, I-2, Asuka Kato. have been getting a lot of name tags today. I wasn't here before. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood. Examine it thoroughly. Oh, good, another one. There's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any name tag this time. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of hair scattered across the floor, it's safe to say this was a female student. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far in the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. That was weird. Why did they look over? There's... First, all the windows, doors, and outside walls of the school are completely immovable. You can't open them, can't break them, can't bust them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside to the school, though, like the hall windows and the classrooms, can be affected to some extent or another. Second, just as some people are inherently good or bad-natured, some of the ghosts in here are good, while others are quite nasty. The more kind and gentle spirits shed a pale blue light, while the less savior, savory types appear in blood red and glow like fire. It hurts. Having the tendons in the heels of your feet sliced out is so excruciating. I'd rather my feet be cut off altogether than have to bear this pain. My only solace is knowing that when I die, it'll stop hurting. But, sis, sis, before I go, I want, you, I want to see you one more time. I want to hug you. I don't want to die alone, sis. I don't want to die at all. I'm scared. My dear sis. The increasingly messy lettering on the paper becomes completely illegible at this point. Ooh. Custodian's closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of a TV static coming from within. Okay. Ooh. Dark. Basement. The door is nailed shut. It's definitely it definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagihori. My head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. When we found Yuzu Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow. I didn't tell anyone about it. And now, it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. There are skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here. Small enough to be a middle schooler. Looking, looking closer, you can see a student ID name tag. They say Academy for Girls, Class I-2. Koito Fujiwara. I'm not sure what we need to do. Like, at this point, I don't know what needs done.
Well, we got the loose board, so we can walk across this, so... I think that's all we can do? Oh, God. There's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground. It seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely save me. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a, a student ID name tag can be found. Sasha Sh Shinonome. It's another bucket. There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside of the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots. <laughs> Beautiful. That's the boys' bathroom. We're not supposed to be in here. Let's get out. It won't open. Why won't this open? Oh god, I want to leave. What about in here? Oh. What the hell was that? That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. That gave me chills, like actual, like real life chills. I don't really know which is more likely. We pissed that ghost off. Even turning the handles all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair, and the basin is filled with dirty water. Hey, Naomi? You have any of that ass medicine on you, by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff? What? Again? Yep. My butt's been drier in a desert since we got here. What the fuck? Well... I've got some antibacterial cream, if that'll work. Thanks. I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with this real good. I just read that. I just... <sighs> that is a real thing that I just read out loud. You have any shame at all? I'm going to just sit and wait for a second. I feel like I've got to do something, right? I have to. What was that? Was that... Yuka? Deko doesn't take being alone very well. Okay, I can't leave her then. I gotta go talk to her again. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. Uh, no problem. Hey, wait. Was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine. I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about, after all. I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Okay, thank God. That... <laughs> oh, God. I was not looking forward to anything happening there. Like... 
Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. Uh, my leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We should find you someplace to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here. Lean on my shoulder for the time being. Thank you. I owe you one, Seiko. Think nothing of it. When we come in the back, it jumps to the front. So how about one of us waits for it over there? This is the spot where I saw that weird glowy thing. Yeah. Okay. You sit there, I'll come around. Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Ah, gotcha. Naomi, I got it. You did? Nice job. Turned out to be this. Inquired infirmary key. Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> we make a great team. Alright, I don't know where the infirmary is. Yeah, there we go. And I'm out. Nope. Nope, that's a bad sound. That's not a fun sound. I don't like that sound. Uh. Crap, we gotta go in here. Uh. Let's save. Let's save. Let's do that before we do touch anything else. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. Along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I could probably take one or two bottles with me. But I'd probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. What is this? It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'd probably never light again. A box of matches on the ground next to it. Take them? Yes. Okay, we got the matches. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both its blades covered liberally in blood. Lovely. We rest on the bed. Huh? huh? Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot, a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lie down for a bit. Why'd she go all the way over there? All tucked away in the corner like that? I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. Haha. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the, exact, I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to sue that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Ah, this'll do nicely. I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. That sprain's a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. Alright. You're all wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Mm, feels great, Seiko. Thank you. You're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too. So I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. No worries. You've done more than enough already. Er... You're asleep now. That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. It's slumberland for me. You really are an oddball, you know that?
So hey, Naomi. If we might, if we find Moshida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? That was weirdly worded. Eh? Well, you know what they say when two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say. It often leads to love. Sweet love. You should well up all that courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place. Your cuteness factor will grow three times in his eyes, I bet. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school. Like nothing ever happened. Thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. I hope we find him soon. Uh-huh. You kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish he didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing he's safe and sound back home. Rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all accounts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when I see that ass, he's... <laughs> What is this character? You are so weird. Okay, back to the horror. Yay! Oh, God. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist, don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed, you got it? Well, but... Look. Your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all, all for nothing. Alright. Guess I'll stay here. I'm um, spooky's gonna come through the door. Ugh. <sighs> Ankle does really feel better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. Ugh. Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive reaction. Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak? ever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Ah, uh, save me. Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Okay, okay. Don't have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. Ugh. I just... I want to see him. Why did this have to happen? So we're just, uh... Moving now, huh? Alrighty then. On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed. Nor any other evidence that it's been locked at all. What? What if it's not locked? And why won't it open? Oh boy. <laughs> Are those... children? Oh That was fucking creepy. Who, 
Who? What? Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, my head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. The door is latticed with countless strands of black hair. Rooting, rooting it in place. Wait, there are scissors! Is... Someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Shelves are empty now. Looking closely, the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. The previously inoperable desk lamp now shines with an unnatural, almost ethereal glow. Haphazardly scrawled shorthand begins appearing in the journal on the desk, as if being written by unseen hands. The letters are misshapen and, incon and inconsistent. However, it's a completely illegible. The hell? Oh. What the? Uh, uh. I need to get away. Where did the hair come from? Try using a match to burn the hair? Uh, yes. The flame wasn't strong enough to make any significant damage. Scissors. There were scissors. Ah, uh, God. Okay. Fuck. Oh, God. That was super close. Oh, God. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. I'm dead. I'm gonna... Ah, stop. Stop. Stop it. Okay, I got rubbing alcohol. I got rubbing alcohol. I got rubbing alcohol. Get out. Get out. I don't care what that said. <laughs> no. I'm going to kill you. Oh. Tell me what happened? Are you okay? Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel you'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You need me to rub your back? Ugh. I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-uh. Looks like we really are the only only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? 
Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should, we should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm. Well, we've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Last two Niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, let's say you and I go get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? Just can't seem to hold back. Naomi, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Uh, huh? You just keep smiling and laughing. Tell me, how long is it going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crock and you know it. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirit up till the bitter end. Just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out, rationally, and couldn't stop. Venomous, venomous words were flowing from my mouth, as if someone had turned out on a spigot. All I could do was moan, and complain, and belittle. I really was behaving like a spoiled little brat. Sure, our family's going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to... So you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal, normal people don't work that way. Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help get us out of here? Seems the most effective plan of attack, don't you think? Who... Who says things like that? I have to apologize. 
I want to get home just as bad as you do. Back to my, back to my dad and you and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. Sorry. Echo. I'm so... I... I'm sorry too. But it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, let's split up. I'll go this way. No! Bad! You don't split up the party! What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. Oh my god, don't split the party. That's like rule number one in horror. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces, where humans are scattered, imprisoned, and killed, two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko will come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I ever could have imagined. Naomi. That jerk. Uh, okay, well I'm just playing her now. She's gonna die, she's dead. She's, she's gonna die. I think I just heard somebody calling out. No. I I, I have to. Fuck. No. No. Go back. Let's go back. Do do do. Naomi. Oh, we're best friends again. I know you said sorry. You did mean it. We're in a stressful situation, and we should stay together and not fuck around. Not another, not another earthquake. I've had enough, goddammit. Is it over? Are you okay, Nate? Uh, Naomi, uh, we're best friends. Come, fuck. No. Force collapsed. This happened because of the earthquake? I can't take this. Naomi! Fuck! I hope Naomi's okay. She's dead! It's like I was gonna fucking die! Ugh. She's dead. She's absolutely 190% dead. We really might not ever make it back home again, huh? This isn't a nightmare. It's actually happening. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell her how I feel. Or not. There's really no way. It would never work out. Or as I might, I'd stand no chance against Mashida. Let's follow the voice. was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here, it's kept growing stronger and stronger. It felt like something else was in my head. Like I was some like I was under some alien influence. In my mentality distraught state in my mentally distraught state. I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I 
Jeff just kept calling her name. Over and over again. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko? Is that you? No, it's definitely not. Fuck, dude. Ah. No, no, nope, 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 out, 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 out. <laughs> No, abs. No, oh my fucking god. Okay, no, no, go back. I don't. I don't. I don't want to go. F oh, uh, why? No. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Oh god, I oh, god, I don't I don't <sighs> Fuck The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Oh, my heart is sinking into my stomach. Why? Why? No, no. Naomi. The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling. There's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help are just strangling her further. I need something to stand on. The bucket! The bucket! The bucket! The bucket! The bucket! Uh, I don't care. I don't care what they're saying. Hurry the fuck up. Oh, it's gross. A significant number of maggots have found their way in onto Naomi's hands and skirt. I got the bucket. Come on. Help Seiko. Fuck, she's still alive. Ah. <laughs> With blank eyes. Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life has been completely drained from her face. Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't... Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. I want to apologize to you for what I j said. Up until just a few hours before, 
I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept that as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. Continued in chapter 2.